Hello and welcome to my channel Shifa's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make chicken angara masala. So let's start. For this year I have half a kg of chicken, 3 tomatoes pureed, 2 onions finely chopped, paste of 12 almonds and 12 cashews, half a cup of curd, 1 teaspoon each of ginger garlic paste, then I have homemade chicken angara masala which we will learn later in the video the recipe for it then I have 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds I have salt to taste half a teaspoon of garam masala powder 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and fresh cream for the chicken angara masala here I have 1 and a half tablespoon of cumin seeds 8 to 9 dried red chilies, 1 star anise, 2 cinnamon sticks, then I have 3 green cardamoms and 10 to 15 black pepper corns, and I have 3 tablespoons of coriander seeds. So let's start. Here I have a pan, in it I will add all our spices for the masala and I will dry roast them for about 2-3 to three minutes. You can store this powder in a close jar for about 3-4 to four months easily and use it later on. Now I will mix it and we will dry roast it and then I will make a fine powder out of it. And our masala is ready. Now I'll marinate the chicken with curd and almond and cashew paste. Then to this I will add ginger garlic paste. To this I will add almost 3 tablespoon of chicken angara masala which we have prepared. Mix it. To this I will add a bit of red food coloring. You can even skip it if you want. Mix it properly. To this, I'll add salt. Add salt as per your taste. Mix it and let it marinate for about 3 to 4 hours. I have heated up the oil in the wok. To this, I'll add cumin seeds. Now, to this, I'll add onions and let it cook till they turn brown in color if you like my video please give a thumbs up do comment and share my video subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video As you can see, our onions have turned brown. To this, I'll add tomato puree. Mix it. To this, now I'll add garam masala powder, turmeric powder red chilli powder and salt. Keep a check on salt because we have added salt in our marinated chicken too mix it and let it cook till the oil separates as you can see our oil has separated now to this I will add our marinated chicken
and let it cook. Now we'll cook it till our chicken is done. Cover it with lid and let it cook. As you can see, our chicken is done. To this, I'll add fresh cream, mix it, and let it cook. Chicken angada is almost done. Over it, I'll add some finely chopped green coriander. Then I'll smoke it with coal. Keep a piece of burning coal in the center. Over it, I'll add oil. Cover it with lid. Switch off the flame. Chicken angada is ready. Serve it with naan or roti. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up. Do comment and share. If you recreate any of my recipes, don't forget to tag me on any of my social media accounts, Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, if you have any requests or suggestions to make, please feel free to comment down below. Thank you.